Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math for Machine Learning and today we are going to look into a concept called matrix multiplication and going forward we will see how we can do different linear algebraic operations on our data. Okay. Uh, to start with, uh, you know, uh, let's start with an example. So me and my friend, we started a new bar and you know, we are selling three types of beer, ale, lager and stout. Okay, so in day one, say for example myself, say I can call it a vector v1, and I'm storing the uh, the number of beer I sold for each category. So for example, say I sold four ale, yeah, and I sold two lager and say two stout. Okay, and my friend. He sold, say, three ale, two lager, and say, four stout. Okay. Now these are individual vectors, and it it determines the number of type of beer we sold. So this is ale. This is lager, and this is stout. Similarly, for my friend. Now, an interesting way to represent this data is by a matrix, I can simply also put them this way. I can say it's 4, 2, 2 and 3, 2, 4. What it happens is it becomes my data more organized, right? And I can do the same kind of operations which I would have done in this case, in case of the vectors, okay? now. What I want to find at the end of the day is how much money are we making. So for example, if I sell one bottle of ale, say I make two dollars, okay. If I sell one bottle of lager, then say I make three dollars. And if I say sell a stout, then say it's four dollar per bottle, per bottle, okay. All these are per bottle price, for example. Now I want to calculate how much are we making um, by selling uh, each different types of beer now in uh, in doing matrix multiplication what we have to understand is uh, we have to use the concept of both row vectors and column vectors so in this case in a matrix we have a simple rule that we have to keep in mind that if this is a 2 by 3 matrix right so we can only multiply with something here which has a dimension which starts with 3 and you know whatever number there could be but these two in the inner inner numbers should match so that means had it been like a m by n matrix then it should be something like n by some value here okay it can be 1 2 3 so on but then this inner number should match okay so now we know the price of our each type of beer. So we have 2, 3 and 4. So now if I have to calculate how much I was making, so what I will do is I will first multiply this value here, sum this value here, multiply these two numbers and sum these two values here. So what will I get in the first uh, element I will get as 4 times 2 okay which is 4 times 2 plus 2 times 3 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4 okay 2 times 4 and similarly 3 times 2 3 times 2 plus 2 times 3 again 2 times 3 and the last element is 4 times 4 so this is how we actually multiply uh, a matrix with a vector and there could be also matrix and a matrix here right and if we do the total what we get is 8 plus 6 I can just write it here 8 plus 6 plus 8 and here it will be 6 plus 6 plus 16 and the final total is 
and so the final total is um, 14 plus 8 22 and um, 12 plus 16 it is 28 so that means I made somewhere around 22 dollars and my friend he made something around 28 dollars so using matrix it makes us easy to organize the data and also easily track uh, the va individual values if I do it with vectors I can do the same thing but then uh, if matrix it's much more easier to manage the data okay I hope you have learned something new today and you found a practical reason to use matrix multiplication and we'll stay tuned and we'll bring more concepts to you have a nice day